Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you smart shopping tips from this book. This book, uh, uh, I mean this magazine, this magazine I found it somewhere I forgot. And it has uh, smart shopping tips and I think I ought to share smart shopping tips with you guys. Now, if you are an adult that's watching this um, well, and you might say, well, I'm already grown up for this, and I know everything I need to know, but let's, like, we, we might all need a refresh, um, like, we are all human, and, like, even adults sometimes need a reminder. So, let's get into it. Tip number one. You might like in the store. You might like see some uh, some candy that's like fifty pieces for six ninety nine. Now I'm using the example right over here, so I'm not plagiarizing or anything. So if you find a bag of candy for f that has fifty pieces for six ninety nine, and then next to that bag there's another another bag of candy same brand same, same brand same candy and hat and is 80 for 11.99 and pretty much like it's very very easy for you to say oh um bigger bag bigger bag better deal right well that's that might not always hold true like for example, I'm I'm using the example on this too. So, six ninety nine divided by fifty will equal about fourteen cents a piece of candy. Eleven ninety nine divided by eighty will equal about fifteen cents a piece. So, technically, the first one, first the fifty bag of can, the the fifty can, the fifty. The candy, the bag that has 50 candies is a better deal thanks to math and calculation, which is 14 cents a piece, and that's 15 cents a piece. Tip number two. Brand names, name brands are sometimes pricey like let's say honey nut cheerios like i mean cheerios cheerios let's just keep it simple and plain cheerios like cheerios cheerios might cost one price but then we all know like the other one which is produced by the store which name which doesn't have a name exactly and it just says great value we all know that right so and then that great value is technically the same thing except for a cheaper price because it's not a name brand and it's not even a brand it's just made by the store so so it's just it's the same thing for a lower price it might not be the same thing exactly, but it's close enough. And it's cheaper, so that's how you can also save money. Um, tip number three. Tip number three. Um, this one is very, very obvious. It's on the back of this. It's comparison shop in the store yep it's very very obvious but sometimes it's not very obvious like let's say you find you find i'm not using an example from this one let's say you find um a a camera a camera like a polaroid or something you want to buy and it costs like seventy dollars you might, and, how, but then, 
like to save money you might like take a look at like instead of Target, Walmart, um Amazon, eBay for like a better deal to save some money for to save some money and to save some money. So so it's technically the same working thing except for a cheaper price because different stores just offer different prices. Am I right? Yes. I am right. Tip number four. Beware of the unlimited option. I, I'm still, I'm now using the example on the magazine. I'm not playing. Yeah. So. So. Unlimit, let's say unlimited theme park rides. Like unlimited movies or something like that. Like buying an unlimited pass might like say might might be like smart, but it's not but it's like but sometimes you're paying for more than you need. Like do you how many movies do you technically watch if you watch like 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 I'll use one of my examples, like um, like like getting your bike air like you get you're getting air into your to your bike to your, getting air to your bike wheels pumped. It costs like one dollar per five minutes. Now if you get a pump manual pump that's ten dollars and you only pump and you only pump your bike one time a month then it's not really reasonable to make that purchase because well well it's not reasonable to make that purchase since you don't do it often so it's just going to be a waste sitting there do, like doing nothing like you might like bring it home and then pump your like like when you you might bring it home and then you pump your bike tire right away it might come in hand it might come in handy r when you first bring it but then like after a while you don't need to get your bike pumped it can like like bikes air in bikes like can go for like months or weeks without getting pumped if you ride your bike a lot and you get the point so so price isn't the only thing to consider. Also, like if you like if you buy something that's you you buy a lot of things like you might say like one ninety nine for ten bo for like eighty box of chocolates and like twenty cents for two bars of chocolates. Well, that's not. But well, well. That isn't the only thing to consider. The better deal is the better thing to do. That's not the only thing to consider. What is, what sometimes is to consider is that do you really need that much things? That the, the, that many things? Like, just like I mentioned in the last one, like, unlimited. Do you really need that much? Do you really need that much? Yes or no? Do you really need that much? Like, because Americans throw away up to forty percent of the all the food they buy, and sometimes the food goes bad, or sometimes you you're sick of it, you don't want it, you don't like it anymore. I I I once got that. So if 
So if you, so it's much better to just buy what you need. Like if you're if you buy something that's a really good deal and it's in a, in a, it's in a large enormous amount and and you only eat up a quarter of it then all of that the 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 stuff you bought with the rest of the food will go bad so your money is technically going to be a waste anyway so that's all the tips i have to share with you for th for this episode so that's it for this episode thank you guys for watching comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye